So once you buy this product, which is GNS3 and EVNG images collection, and we'll keep updating the new version of images for QCAF2, IOL, and for Dynamips, you can run the latest version of images into your EVNG and GNS3. So, and of course, once you buy, you have one month access to the our download server. So that means for one month, you will have the unlimited access to the images in our download server. So here, as you can see, we have the images. You should download whatever image that you want. And of course, you can use these images for your uh, EVNG and GNS3. So that's great. And here we'll go to our gns3 and now as you can see the server summary is ready here we'll click on new template and in today's lesson i'm going to help you how you can import csr thousand vng this is the latest version and of course fortigate firewall and microtik router so first off we'll start with the csr here and we'll minimize it and we'll go click on next and here i just type in csr which we need this one in the rotors category and we're going to click on install and again next and again next and notice that by default we have this version of csr rotor so that's great let me minimize this one here, as you can see, the version that I'm going to upload is 9.16.06.05, which obviously here you can see that you cannot find it here. That's okay. Even if you find the exact version, I highly recommend you to create a new version. That means you get rid of the checksum or hash error. You may see it once you want to actually upload the images into your GNS3. So that's great. I'm going to click on, for example, this new version, this closed version. As you can see, it's 9.16. So that's great. You can click in which one of them, for example, the latest version and create a uh, new version as you can see my version is above this version which is uh, the latest version i'm going to just copy these numbers the version numbers here and put it here and we're going to say okay and here it says this is the file so now it's recommend you to upload this version of csr which is for this version so we're going to copy this one to the notepad and of course we're going to change the numbers here here because we want to again use this and we'll paste it here and we'll copy this one and again we'll add it here that's great and of course you should go to the exact QCOF2 disk here and again here we'll name it to the exact version that GNS3 wants this disk to be uploaded. That's great. And okay. And we'll scroll down here. Now we should import it. So everything looks great and when you add the new version and in most cases it's going to be added in last version as you can see even it is the latest version so and we're going to click on import import what exactly the file is going to be recommended by so that's great and we should wait to upload this version of csr which is great for sd1 configuration so as you can see the images is going to be added successfully we'll click the images and we're going to click on next and here you set the default password and it's been added successfully here we'll simply click on start to see the router
as you can see it works perfectly and it's going to be run after a few minutes so here it said do you want the default configuration or initial the configuration or we'll say no and terminate the auto install and now our router is going to be ready for your gns3 lab as you can see so that's great and we'll go to enable configuration and config terminal enable and configuration and here we'll try to stop this router and we're gonna delete it the second one is going to be our FortiGate firewall again here we're gonna click on we're gonna type FortiGate FortiGate and we'll use the first one and of course again next and next and here we need actually to add the version 6.4.4 so by selecting this version which is close to it we're gonna say create new version and here just say 4 and so we're gonna copy this version as you can see again we'll put it here in the notepad and we're gonna just rename the file that we have the chemo file that we are using for our evng now we should only just rename it to the format that you can upload it to the gns3 as you may know these chemo files are already configured for evng they are converted and just you have to rename them and a little bit effort as you can see you can easily upload them into your gns3 so that's great and again here we'll say okay and here it says we need empty 30 gigs for our router that means this 40 gig firewall it will need the second disk as you can see hdb so that's great where you can find them i mean the empty disk is for your fortigate firewall again we're going to scroll down here this is the images and this is the empty disk that is going to be needed for your fortigate firewall as a second disk so you're going to be find them here in in our file server here and here we have the empty chemo discs here you can download the version that you're going to use so we're going to download the version 30 gig here and we'll find it here in the download folder so that's great of course here you can go to to this website and you can find them all here the 200 gigabyte 100 gigabyte which in most cases we're going to use uh, these two version for windows and these two 30 gig and 8 gig are going to be used for uh, rotors and firewall that's great so and here we'll do a refresh here as you can see it will be ready because we actually download it in the download folder but for this one we should import it from our file that we had downloaded from the file server so that's great this is exactly the file that we rename we're gonna add this file to the gns3 that's great and we're gonna say open and it's going actually to upload this file it takes few seconds and it will be ready here and we're gonna click on the version which is going to be the last version again and here it says the admin and no password and again we're gonna add the fortigate firewall so that's great it's going to be ready and and we'll type the admin with no password and here it tells you you should type the new password and confirm the new password that's great so that's it. again we're going to close out of this firewall and we'll say stop and lastly we're going to add the microtech router
and again next and next so the version that we have it's here here we're gonna use uh, this version so that's great let me copy this one so again we're gonna select this version for example and we'll say create and uh, let's say let's see this is going to be six point dot six point forty two dot nine that's great and okay and we're gonna use this image which image let me show you we want actually this image Again, we're gonna add the numbers that we have. That's great. And we'll scroll down here. We can see we want this one with the format IMG. So that's great. It's better that you copy the exact name or you put it in the notepad in case that you don't need to be renamed this file again. So that's great. We'll say CHR, which exactly here, six and dot IMG. And here it says you want to change the format, maybe is going to be unusable so that's great and we'll copy this path and again we'll say import once we change the version and the file to the proper format and again it's going to upload this image to the gns3 that's great and we're going to select this one and again it's going to be added here and again we can actually connect to our microtik from our gns3 very easily so that's good we don't need the license so this is how you can upload the images from our file server here which we have the great video introducing our file server here to download the latest images for EVNG and of course GNS3. So that's great. And some of them, maybe you will find them that they are challenging. For example, let me show you here for firewall, let's say for example, Cisco FMCB. So that's great. Here we have the version. Let me go back here. Go back here. And here, as you can see, we have a firepower. And we need to upload this version, as you can see, FMC to the GNS. So that's great. Here, as you can see, again, we have the file with the format with the name format of EVNG, but we want to make it for GNS3. So that's great. Let me copy again these numbers, these version numbers, and we're gonna say install. So let's say for which one of them you can select and this version. And this is the format of the file here, as you can see. Again, we'll put it here, and we're gonna actually use the exact letter version iOS that we have and rename to it like this. Great, and we're gonna copy it and we'll paste it here. That's great. So and this is the version. So we need this file. That's okay. We already rename it. So we need this file. That's great. And we're gonna copy the exact name of this file. 
and that's great and copy the path and minimize this and we're gonna say import and this file as you can see so notice that I'm using the QCOF tool so here as you can see I'm using the version of QCOF tool of course, you have the version of a VMDK file, which is for a VMware environment. And now we can actually add this FMC, Cisco FMC firewall. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and this is how you can import the images for your GNS3 from our file server.